Life is about experiences. The good ones, and the not so good ones. Our experiences are what gives our lives meaning. They become our memories. They make us who we are. So tell me, have you experienced Jesus in your life? The greatest experience of all. Hi, this is Dave Bartosowitz with Have You Experienced Jesus? You know, I'm always down here, obviously, but I'm doing something, a very short video. I want you guys to think about something who might be Mormon, who watch this, as, as well as people who aren't Mormon, um, because it's going to be kind of interesting. When I was at BYU, I actually graduated from Brigham Young University in Provo, and um, I wasn't a Mormon at that time, but I was given actually a, a Book of Mormon from uh, a girlfriend of mine at that time, and she wanted me to have that. And I want to give you a little insight. This was actually printed in 1983. This is the Book of Mormon. You can see it's right there. It's a little old right now, but let me show you. You know, that's the Book of Mormon. You can see the page are, are a little worn, and uh, the Doctrine and Covenants is there, and it opens up to the hand of Mormon. And this was printed in 1983. And I want you to see the introduction, because this is really important for you to see. I don't know if you're able to see that. If you aren't able to see it, I'm also going to take a picture of this and put it on as well, so that you can actually see it. But what I want you to do is come back to me now, cameraman. I want to talk to you a little bit more about what this says. Now, this is the introduction. Now, the introduction says, the Book of Mormon is a volume of holy scriptures comparable to the Bible. It is a record of God's dealing with the ancient inhabitants of the Americas and contains, now I want you to listen to this, and contains, as does the Bible, right? As does the Bible, the fullness of the everlasting gospel. Wow. Now, I want to let you know, this, this Book of Mormon, uh, they had that for a number of years. As, as contains, as the Bible, the fullness of the everlasting gospel. So, we have to ask ourselves as Christians, what is the need for the Book of Mormon? Ray, my cameraman, was just telling me that fullness basically means a overflowing, it's all right so when you look at something that is a fullness and the bible has all for what the the everlasting gospel meaning that do we need do we need the book of mormon to be able to be saved and to have our opportunity to have salvation with god the father god the son the god the holy spirit because it has everything in it the bible do we need the Book of Mormon or the Doctrine and Covenants to be able to, to need any of that, to have that, that relationship and that, that salvation with God? No. If what the Book of Mormon, and I'm going to say I believe that introduction, right, in the sense that the, the Bible is the fullness of the gospel, I'm going to believe that. What's the purpose of this religion claiming that they're the only true church? It doesn't make sense to me, right? Now, interesting, interesting, they took that out. So if you go in the new editions and the introduction page, it's not there. You have to ask yourself, hmm, I wonder why they took it out. Maybe because they realized that what I am saying right now is what people are thinking. So they don't want that. They don't want other people, other Christians, to consider that. Interesting thought. Interesting idea. Go on the 1983 Book of Mormon introduction page. Find it. I'm going to actually put that that photo right now. You could see it. It's validated. And you got to ask yourself, why did they change it? Good thoughts. Thanks for watching.